if we are to change Bangladesh, you need to transform the people. You need to transform their mindset. widespread poverty exists in Bangladesh is not because of lack of trying, not because of lack of resources, but there has been a lot of efforts in this country by the NGOs, by the government, by the donors to end poverty. And, uh, and there has been a lot of money spent too but, uh, by the donors. But in the process, people are made uh, dependent. People are made, uh, made to realize that uh, they are poor and uh, they can't help themselves. And they need handouts, they need support from outside. So sort of a donor-client relationship has been created between the, between the NGOs, government, and the people. Our number one enemy is this mindset, mindset of dependency, mindset of hopelessness, mindset of helplessness, and from it, uh, what is created is cynicism. Cynical attitude, resignation and cynical attitude. We need to awaken people, we need to mobilize people, we need to uh, instill confidence in people, we need, to, uh, we need to make people realize that they are in no way inferior to anybody. They are not cursed and they can, if they are committed to doing so, they can create a better future for themselves. Bangladeshis can, can do it and must do it. And, uh, so uh, this is what uh, we have been trying to do through the Hunger Project. My vision for Bangladesh is that our people become happy, healthy and productive and create a future different from what we are in. A future which is not full of hunger. A future where people are self-reliant, people have sense of dignity and people are productive and we don't have to depend on the handouts and the support from outsiders. My vision is to have a happy, healthy and productive Bangladesh. face enormous challenges here, enormous challenges. The, the mindset of the people, the hopelessness, helplessness, uh, resignation and cynicism and all these things. You know, there is widespread poverty in Bangladesh and women are the poorest of the poor. And women's poverty really perpetuates poverty in, in our country. The way it works is that, uh, say for example, malnourished mother uh, gives birth to uh, low birth to children. And the discrimination starts right at birth. The girls are discriminated against. They are fed less, they are cared for less. And as a result, the uh, rate of malnutrition is higher among the girls than the boys. When the girls grow older, they are confined within four walls, especially in rural areas. They, they are not allowed to go to school many times. And, uh, and they are deprived of basic health services. And then at puberty, they are married off. And before their body, their own bodies are matured and they soon get pregnant. So these are the young ladies who, whose bodies are not matured 
and who are malnourished themselves become pregnant and they give birth to the low birth to their children. And this is how the cycle continues. So the women's malnourishment and women's poverty really keeps the poverty in place and perpetuates it. So we must intervene. We must intervene early and we must intervene to improve the condition of the women so that they are not malnourished, they are not deprived of education, they are not deprived of basic health services. We believe that the women are the key to ending hunger and poverty in Bangladesh. Without that, we really do not have a chance. What we have done is uh, developed a workshop, what we call Vision, Commitment, and Action Workshop. That workshop calls for people's leadership to create a vision for a better future, rather than thinking in current reality, which is depressing many times. And then uh, be committed to uh, achieving that vision, and then take the appropriate action. We have come to realize that uh, to give this workshop, we need a group of trained people, committed people, who will go from village to village in their own localities and deliver this workshop, lead this workshop. So we have designed uh, what we call an animators training, four day long animators training. Through this we have so far trained about 40,000 volunteer animators. Volunteers animators are like a uh, new generation of freedom fighters to bring about a liberation, a second liberation for Bangladesh. Our vision for the next five to ten years is to have a million animators so that we have at least ten animators in every village. We have 85,000 villages and that we, we feel will, will form a critical mass, critical mass of volunteer animators who could awaken and mobilize people for self-reliant action using their own resources. I call upon everyone our friends to be unreasonable because unreasonableness really alters you makes you a lot more powerful makes you makes you uh, unstoppable and and we are talking about ending hunger ending poverty that's an enormous task enormously challenging task and it will require being unreasonable being unstoppable and pursuing our goal with dogged determination and going forward no matter what so I call upon everyone to be unreasonable, uh, to end hunger and poverty, to make the world a better place for all of us. Mm -hmm.